What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, it's actually over a couple days, but it's weird, it's only on my lunch breaks where I've been able to get on some fish. I think it's the sun starting to warm up some of the structure and stuff like that. But yeah, so this video is basically a bunch of lunch break catches. But I hope you enjoy it. The baits I was using, basically tubes throughout this video, different brands, different varieties. But yeah, we're gonna head up to another spot. But I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please consider being a subscriber if you're not a subscriber. But let's get fishing. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So I came out at lunchtime today, caught a fish on my lunch break actually. So now that work's over, decided to come back out, throw around this little undercover baits tube here. I have it on a, I believe it's a VMC. It's like a wobblehead Ned rig, something new that came out with this year, but yep, this is what we're gonna toss around. There's one, a little guy. I thought something picked it up. Saw my line running. Got this little squeak. Hey, I'll take him though. We're out fishing and catching is catching. Thanks for biting, little guy. Yeah, I kind of gave it a little pop, but then I saw slack in my line and I saw my line moving. Never even felt the bite. There we go. There's another one. Same exact spot where that first one was. Nice. Again, just the softest bite. Can't go wrong with a little tube on a little Ned. Catching little guys, but I believe if there's a big one down there, he's gonna bite it too. It's just so fun. It's nice that the sun's out finally. Spring is just right around the corner and fishing is going to be phenomenal this year. I just know it. All right, well, we're back out here again on my lunch break from work again. Still going to throw around this little tube here on a shaky net head or whatever it is. I feel like this small little profile should definitely get bit. I don't know if you can tell the water's starting to clear up a little bit, so they should have no problem finding this bouncing off the bottom. That's a fish. Like I said, didn't have any problem finding it. It's a very slight tap too. All right, number one for this afternoon. That's a nice one. Thanks for biting, bud. In the colder months, like this with the cold water, I like to go as light as possible with my weights. Like I said, this little Ned head, I believe it's like a 16th, so it's really light. Just has a nice slow fall. I feel like this time of year, everything that's in the water is just going to be slow. But again, it's just personal preference, just what I use. But now if the river came up and it was muddy again, then yeah, I'd probably throw like a quarter ounce, three sixteenths ounce. All right. Let's go try up underneath this tree. In a way, I'm fishing this because it's so light. I'm just letting the current take it and just bouncing it, just tickling the bottom, just barely grazing the bottom with it. And just so being aware and feeling for those little ticks. I thought I had something there. I did hook something. There's a little fish scale on my lure. It's so muddy down here. And the mud packs into your shoes so you have like no traction at all. I feel like I'm skiing. I know there's one in here. Nice sunny day. It's gonna warm up this water right here. There's gotta be a smallie in here. Yeah. 
There we go. That one clobbered it. So I knew there had to be one around here. That's a good one. This little butter ball. So he absolutely drilled it. There we go. I'll try to get him out of the mud. That's a nice one there. That's exactly why I tried this spot. Got some scars, some battle scars. It's been through some stuff. That is a nice fish right there. Heck yeah. Rinse them off real quick. Look at the beautiful bronze colors on these fish. So awesome. All right, let's let this baby go. Let them grow. Thanks for biting, bud. There he goes. Yeah, there was no doubt that was a fish right there. Sometimes you get them slight ticks or it could be a rock. Not that one. He clobbered it. All right, here we are again on lunch break. This is going to turn into a catches on lunch break video. So I do come out in the evenings with a little bit of daylight I've left and just can't seem to get on any. But I'm still going to throw around a tube. This one's different. This is from a new company to me. It's called Uncle Bub's Baits. Again, never tried them, so I can't speak too much about them, but we're going to give them a try. A fish yeah it is oh man i didn't even feel the bite oh he got he came off well i mean i just felt this little bit of weight i should have set the hook but i didn't and yeah that was a that was a good smallie dang it i thought it was a tree limb it's like one of those heavy but it was coming up but it was just dead weight yeah that was a fish dang it again right there proof think it's a fish set the hook and that was my fault i definitely should have used my own advice just set the hook anyway all right let's go try up here another factor that's working in our behalf too so we have a warm front these next couple days supposed to get pretty close to 60. so that should help get these fish moving so spring is right around the corner thankfully All right, if we feel anything that's similar to a bite, we're setting a hook. There's a fish. Again, very, very soft bite. I made sure I set the hook on that one. Oh, oh he popped off too. Dang it. Why oh, they keep popping off? Hey, that counts. We got into the bank. At least there's a lot of action today. It's kind of bittersweet. I'd rather stay out here and fish the afternoon than go back to work, but it's all right. We'll try again, like I said, this evening. Good chance there could be more in here, so let's keep casting. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was a fish. They are just ever so slightly eating the bait. I mean, you can barely feel them. Yep, that was a fish. That time he crushed it. Wow. Must have made him mad enough. This is a nice one, too. All right, don't come off. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one there. It's got some black lipstick on there. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure this is the one I just missed. Like I said, he ever so slightly tapped it. That is a beautiful fish right there. All right. Thanks for not letting us get skunked, bud. I'm going to give you a toss so I'm not covered in mud. Nice. That's a good fish right there. Just goes to show too, these fish are gonna be stacked up this time of year. I mean, plus, like I said, with the spawn right around the corner, it's when they definitely come together and hang out more too. Obviously it takes two to tango, but 
I just feel like they're schooling up right now. Let's get it back out there. And again, I just made multiple casts right here. I'm just feeling for the slight little bumps. So do you have the mushy bites where you can't even feel a tap or anything and you lift up and you just have a little bit of weight? That's where you just set the hook anyway. Picking up where we left off at lunchtime. Still gonna throw around a tube here. This one's actually the Z-Man little green pumpkin tube. I'm gonna try this out. Why not? Trying all different kinds of tubes. There's one. I felt a little tap. Nice. So muddy down there, it's so hard to stand. There we go. Okay, it's a little muddy. Like I said, it's hard to get them up out of that mud. We're gonna give them a little toss. Thanks for biting, bud. I felt the slightest tap on that one. Get it back out there, see if there's more. I had a feeling when I made that cast that I was gonna get bit. Sure enough, that little guy. The nice thing about Z-Man is they float. So this, the whole time, it's going across the bottom, standing up, versus the other tubes that kind of lay down. There's a fish. That feels like a dandy. That is a good one. We got a tank on here. Nice. Oh, don't jump. This is a good one. Such a fun fight on a medium light rod. Yeah, this is a nice one. That is a chunk there. Look, just popped right out. That's an absolute unit. Look at that fish. That is what we've been looking for. Sweet. That is awesome. Yes, a very soft bite. As soon as I set the hook, man, I just felt the weight. That is awesome. What a great fish. All right, let's let them go, let them grow. Heck yeah. Well, boys and girls, if that doesn't inspire you to get out fishing, I don't know what will. Said if we're coming up on spring, they're gonna start feeding up. That is awesome. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Heading back to work. I'm gonna try again this evening, but if I catch anything, I'll definitely add it to this video. But as you can see, water temps are starting to warm up slightly. Fish are becoming more active. Like I said, the sun is playing a huge factor in getting them active. But yeah, throw on something finesse or just an average size tube too. The weight that I was using was a quarter ounce for this last tube. It's a little heavy, but I mean, hey, it worked. But I'll see you guys soon. Stay fishing, stay anchored.